Audio Jungle. The Internet. The global network of networks that changed our lives. Instant online communication between people all over the world. New business models, exchange of information, free flow and storage data are all benefits which we enjoy without thinking of the whole picture. How is it governed? Which are the major players? The Internet has no centralized governance and therefore no unified rules and policies exist. In order to understand the full picture, I will tell you more about the most important stakeholders in Internet governance. Ideally, they are all in dialogue with each other. Governments. Governments and national legislation authorities determine the national policies for access and use of the Internet on national level. Active governments in the field have been USA, EU member states and the EU as a whole, Brazil, China, India and Russia. In 2015, the EU adopted the first EU-wide net neutrality rules, which creates individual and enforceable rights for end-users to access and distribute Internet content and services of their choice. Internet Service Providers Internet service providers are the key online intermediaries, which provide access to the Internet for end-users. Internet service provider services are regulated by the national legislation of each country, which may lead to unequal treatment of Internet services in different countries. Telecommunication companies. They facilitate Internet traffic and run the Internet infrastructure. Their primary interest in Internet governance is to ensure a business-friendly global environment for the development of telecommunication e-infrastructure. Internet content companies. They can be small startups as well as very big well-known tech companies. Their core business models can be affected by changes in Internet governance. The business priorities of these companies are closely linked to various Internet governance issues such as IP, privacy, cybersecurity and net neutrality. The technical community created the initial spirit of the Internet based on the principles of sharing resources, open access and opposition to government involvement in Internet regulation. Civil Society Civil Society actively supports the multi-stakeholder approach to Internet governance. The case of Max Schrems versus Facebook is an example of how the engagement of civil society in issues related to privacy and data protection can have significant impact on Internet governance. ICANN defines policies for how the names and numbers of the Internet should run and helps coordinate the domain name system as it matches domain names with appropriate IP address numbers. Internet Governance Forum The emanation of the multi-stakeholder approach is the annually organized international forum Internet Governance Forum, where people gather to discuss on public policy issues relating to Internet governance, such as the Internet's sustainability, robustness, security, stability and development. Cyberspace all these actors interact and regulate a small part of the cyberspace, the surface web, which comprises approximately 4% of all Internet content. Beyond that, two more layers exist, the deep and the dark Internet. These dimensions are considered to be a fora for illegal actions, connected with online and offline activities. So, the main challenges for Internet governance is how to regulate all this space, how to prevent, investigate and mitigate cybercrimes and other forms of illegal activities enabled by the possibilities provided by the Internet, how to perform these actions without intruding people's privacy or infringing their natural and fundamental human rights. All these questions are focus of the Mapping Project. For more information, please visit the website below. Engage.mappingtheinternet.eu